everyone. Thanks for tuning in again to Naturally Lash. Today, I will be doing another product review. And for that product review, we have the Spring Kitchen Mandolin Slicer. Can you see that? All right, so what we have right here, it's, um, it's a slicer. And I'm just going to quickly go through all the different parts, and I'll give you a quick demonstration and let you guys know exactly what I think about this mandolin in particular. All right, so when you first open it, this is what you'll see. As you can see, it's made really nice um, of, like, steel. I'm guessing this is steel. This is a metal frame, and then you have the handle, which is plastic, and you have, like, a rubber grip down here at the bottom. And it also comes with a little kickstand that you can bring up or down. So when you're using it, you can put your kickstand down and it'll help give you a more stable base to use this on. Um, and the blade, it looks like, is welded underneath. So it's a little bit more protected from your fingers. Before I get into the demonstration of all the different inserts, I'm just going to go over all the different parts. And it also comes with this right here. Now this right here is going to hold your food and it's going to also protect your fingers so you don't have to worry about accidentally nicking your finger on these blades because the blades are very sharp. If you can see in there, it has these little grippers. And then as you get further down on the vegetable or the fruit that you're slicing, can you see those? It has little metal prongs that will continue to dig into your food item and it will continue to hold your food in place. And then to use that, you'll just take it. I'm going to show it over there, but just for demonstration purposes here, you see the little lips, the little edges on there? It'll just go right on like so. And it makes it really easy to slide this across the blade. You'll also receive with this product a little brush. Um, that helps you get all the little food particles out of your mandolin and it just makes the cleaning process much easier. Now one thing about this mandolin that I really like because I've used other ones is it comes with a nice little storage case for your blades and your inserts. Like there's been other ones I've received where you just kind of got to put your blades wherever you think you won't get hurt from accidentally touching them and they're just out and loose. This one comes with a nice little case that you can just easily pop them in there like this. You don't have to worry about accidentally nicking your finger on any of these. And so you're going to come with five of these. Oops, I almost came out. And the first one is already in here. This is a slicing blade. It's set to make slices at 1.5 millimeters. And to remove this, you're just going to press this red button in, like so. And turn it this way. You're going to press it in. You press, and you just kind of slide it up and away from the blade. And it comes out just like that. So that's the 1.5 millimeter. We have the 3.5. I don't know if you can see the difference in those thicknesses. And you also have a... So it's a 2.5, and this is the 2.5. Let me just put these in order so maybe you guys can kind of see what I'm going through here. Now, it don't look like really a lot um, of difference when it comes to these because it's just a little bit, but when you're cutting your fruits or vegetables, you would definitely be able to see the difference um, when using these different blades. All right, so I'm just going to put these away really quick. And you also have these right here. Um, let me find my little booklet just so I can give you guys the actual name instead of the name that I like to make up for things. All right, so you have two Julianne inserts. And that's how you can get those nice little, um, you can do matchstick um, potato, like matchstick french fries using these. And you get like really nice thin, long cuts using these. So there's your first one. This is a 3.5 millimeter Julienne slicer. As you can see, it has the little blades on there. And then you also have a bigger one, which is in a seven millimeter. So right here, this is perfect for making French fries. You'll get perfect French fries every time. Alrighty. Now just from looking at these, I will say, um, overall, I think that this is pretty well made. 
Um, it's pretty sturdy. I like that it comes with the handle and all like little features to help protect your fingers and to make sure everything is safe. And so I'm just going to run over to the kitchen real quick and let you guys see exactly how this works. So we're going to go ahead and put this into action. So just tune in and stick with me, you guys. Here we are. We're just going to start off by trying using this with a chunk of cucumber. And right now I have the 1.5 millimeter <clears throat> slicing blade inserted. I am going to take my food pusher and finger protector and I'm going to kind of like press that down in there and I'm going to give it a couple passes. And we're just going to see what we ended up with. Like you see that? Super, super thin. And um, yeah, so this is the 1.5 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and switch this out really quick for the two and a half. And we'll see really quick how that changes things. So once again, we're just going to pop that one out. And we're going to slide the two and a half into place. You hear that? It clicks so you know it's secure. And we're going to put our cucumber back up here, make sure it's in place, and again, you know, three quick passes, and I don't know if you can see that very well, but this is the two and a half. Now remember those blades didn't, I mean sorry, but the um, actual insert didn't look very different, but look at that, such a big difference already. And now we're going to go ahead and switch this out one more time for the three and a half. And we'll let you guys... Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. It must have been a mix-up. No wonder it was such a big jump because this is actually the three and a half that's in here. I must have put these out of order. So we're going to show you what the two and a half looks like. Excuse me. Just again, we're going to pop that out really quick. Just like that. You heard it snap. And then we're going to put our cucumber back down on here and let's make sure we get that in the right position and we give it okay there we go reach right under there so this is the two this is the two and a half this really really thin one is the one and a half and then you have the three and a half so as you can see you get three distinctive um, cucumber slices and once I return back over to my desk area, I'll put that up again so you guys can see it. So now I'm going to do a quick little demo of the Julienne blades. So again, I'm going to pop this out really quick. I think I'm getting really good at this. And we're just going to start off with our small Julienne blade. This is the three and a half. Again, just going to slide it back into place. There you go. And I'm going to start with a potato. I'm just going to lay the potato flat. And then I'm, heck, I'm going to kind of stab it in a little bit just to make sure it's secure. And let's remove these cucumbers from under here. Lots of cucumber slices. All right, and so let's go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so that was my first pass. Okay, so. We did four passes on the julienne blade, and look at that. Look at that perfect, perfect little bitty shoestring potatoes. Do you see it? Yes, that's beautiful. Nice, even cuts. So I'm going to switch this out really quick for the larger, the seven millimeter blade. Show you guys quickly what that looks like. You guys see how quick and easy it is to pop these blades in and out? Of course I would stutter now when I'm trying to show you guys. But <clears throat> all right, so now we have the seven millimeter in and same potato. We're gonna apply it again and we're gonna give it a couple passes. Wow, that knocked that potato all the way down. And look at this. Look at these. These are like perfect little french fries. These are like restaurant quality french fries. Look at that. Perfect, right? 
Okay, so, and then once you're finished with this, you just wanna pop that blade out too. I'm going to put all these over here so they're out the way so I can come back and clean up this mess that I made. And I'm gonna head back over to the desk where I'll let you guys get a better look at this. All right, so hello everybody. I'm back over here now. I just grabbed a couple of these and put them on a plate so I can really let you guys see the difference. <clears throat> Okay, so this is using the 1.5 millimeter um, blade. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get it so you guys can really see. But yes, look how thin and even that is. Then we're going to show you the two and a half. You see that? And then we have the three and a half inch. So I'll put these in order right here. Just want to. So you guys can kind of clearly see the difference. All right, so like I said, even though when you first put the inserts in, they don't really look like um, it's that much of a difference for what your slices are going to look like. But clearly, you can definitely see the difference between a one and a half and a three, or even a two and a half and a three and a half. Like it's a big difference, and like. So when you get to like the julienne, look at this. You can make like, this is gonna be make some of the best hash browns ever. No more frozen hash browns. You know, you could just go in there, slice up a potato really quick. You're gonna get these perfect little shoestring potato sizes, perfect for hash browns. And then if you want those french fries like you see in the stores, pop in the seven millimeter julienne blade and you get perfect french fries. Look, they're all even. None of them are wonky. 